that's all right. Excuse me. My name is Justine Patricia. Today's video is going to be a Nadine Lustre inspired makeup look. If you're not from the Philippines and you don't know who Nadine Lustre is, she's one of the most famous ladies in the Philippines right now. And this look that I recreated is a look that she wore on the magazine cover that she has recently done with James Reed. She looks perfect as usual, but she had this smoky blue eye going on and I got so jealous about how she could pull that off so easily. And I know I can't pull it off as good as she does, but I tried. So yeah guys, if you want to know how I got this look, just keep on watching. Alright, starting with a clean fresh face, I'm using this Quick Effect Snow Shine Mattifier. This will serve as my moisturizer. Applying this to my whole face. This red spot here is a mosquito bite if you're wondering. <laughs> then I just let that set and next I'm going to use my Shiseido Refining Makeup Primer. This is an essential part if you want your makeup to last longer. This will also make your face like a flat, even surface. Like it'll fill your pores and stuff. I don't oil up as much and it just, ah, I just love it, you know. It just fills my pores because my pores are huge. Please mind your step on the pores, it might fall in buckets purple. Also putting some on my eyelids. I haven't fixed my brows in like a week. Can you see them? Now to just let that set. I like to make sure that each layer I put on my face is like dry and all set before I proceed to the next step. I'm using this L'Oreal True Match in the shade G2. Then I'm grabbing this brush and just dunk it, dunk it, no. Then I'm just going to apply it on my face. I like to do it in a dabbing motion. Dab, dab, dab. Deb. I spend the most time on my base. As you guys can see, I don't have the smoothest, most perfect skin. This foundation has like some sparkles, but it doesn't really bother me and it's super blendable. I don't have trouble blending it in. Foundation's done. Next, I'm going to put on concealer. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 20 Sand Sable. My camera cut off, but all I did was apply concealer under my eyes, down my nose, on my forehead, on my spots, and I just blended it with my face. Finger. Now I'm just making sure that everything is blended. Next is one of my favorite things to do and it's baking. I'm going to grab this Nichido Final Powder in the shade Creamy Glow and then just apply it under my eyes. If you didn't know, baking is putting on powder on places where your makeup might crease and it will just highlight your face. I'm just applying some on the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, down here. While that is baking, I'm going to do my eyebrows. I'm going to grab this Nichido Eye Pencil in the shade Dark Brown, apply some dark brown powder, and just set it. Nadine has straighter eyebrows than I do, so I'm just going to try and achieve her brows. I'm not yet finished with my brows, but I feel like my powder is already baked, so I'm just going to grab my brush and I'm just going to sweep it. I love baking. Who said I can't cook? Okay, now I'm just going to continue with my brows. Oh, and just a reminder, this is just an inspired look. This is not like a transformation. So I won't look exactly like Nadine. I mean, that's impossible. She's beautiful. I hope the changing of angles doesn't bother you as much as it bothers me. Now I'm just going to contour my face with my Forever 21 Love and Beauty palette. I'm going to use these two shades. Again, just using this brush. Nadine has really pop and cheekbones, and I want that. Some on my jawline. Her jawline is so sharp. Apply some on my temples too. Also gotta contour that nose because she has a really pretty nose, and I'm kind of bungo. Just gonna brush it out to blend it a little. Next, I'm going to highlight because she has really glowy skin. Just going to use this highlighter shade and apply it on top of my cheekbones. Also apply some on my cupid's bow and my nose just because I feel like it and also because she's a glowing goddess. Before I forget, I'm just going to apply some chow stick. Next, I'm going to apply some blusher. I'm just going to combine these two 
Now it's time for the eyes. I'm just going to grab this matte light blue shade and apply it on my crease to serve as a transition color. Next, I'm taking the terracotta eyeshadow again and place it above it. Then I'm taking the light brown shade from my Forever 21 palette and just apply it on my crease. Now I'm taking the light sparkly blue shade. This is not too pigmented so I have to build these colors. And starting from the outer V, I'm going to work myself into the inner lips. Oh my gosh, there are some fallout. It went to my highlighter. Now next, I'm taking the darker blue shade. Start on the outer V again. Then I'm just going to grab this iridescent blue. Oh, this eyeshadow has so many fallouts. See, this is why I'm not a beauty guru. Now this is the fun part. I'm going to grab all of these shades of blue and just apply it on my lower lash line. Next, I'm going to line my eyes. Nadine has a tiny flick going on, so that's just what I'm doing. Then I'm just going to blend the eyeliner a little. Then I'm going to line my waterline with the same pencil. Then I'm grabbing my eyelashes and this duo eyelash glue. Apply some glue, grab your tweezers, and then let it go tacky. I messed it up, but that's as good as I can do. <laughs> Next, I'm just curling my eyelashes so my real and fake ones combine. I'm using the Maybelline Lash Sensational for my lower eyelashes. Then I'm just putting on highlighter on my inner corners. Also, I'll apply some on my brow bone. Now I'm just going to remove my chapstick with this tissue paper. MAC Viva Glam Ariana Grande Lip Gloss. This smells so good. It smells like cotton candy and all things nice. And lastly, to make sure that it all stays in place, I'm just going to put on the MAC Studio Perfect Foundation in the shade NC25 all over my face. So that's it, you guys! If you didn't know already, I've made a second channel where I post vlogs and bloopers and all that stuff. So if you want to check it out, go check it out and subscribe if you haven't already. Also, subscribe to this channel because, you know, it's cool. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you think I should make more of these. Though I'm not saying that I'm a beauty guru, it's just that I really like makeup, you know? So that's it, you guys! Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!